Well, here we have yet another example to add to the ever-growing list of additions that testify to the fact that Disney, woke liberal SJW Disney, is an empire in decline. And further, a testament further serves at, uh, to add to the testament that when you go woke, you're going to go broke. And it seems that in this case, they're because they're trying to get into streaming, and that is you know working out real well. Sarcasm heavily implied. Uh, but they're actually considering and very likely going to end up having to end one of their streaming services. Yeah. Okay, this is on uh, Inside the Magic. It says, Disney very likely to end streaming service after company shakeup. You know, and this was posted on February 9th of 2023 on Inside the Magic. Okay, let's see uh, about this further addition to the ever-growing list of testaments on the fact of woke liberal SJW Disney being an empire in decline. And the fact that, you know, Mickey Mouse is sadly a dying rodent. But it says here in the article, when Disney entered the streaming game, people knew things would change forever. Suddenly stacks of physical movies on shelves were obsolete. There were dozens of Disney movies all online. But what about non-Disney content? Well, the Disney bundle would have those audience covered as well. ESPN Plus for sports fans and Hulu for just about everything else. Yeah. ESPN, for those of you who don't know, they own ESPN. They also own uh, ABC News as well. They own all kinds of stuff. You know? But even then, this multi-billion dollar company that just seems to own all these different media franchises, sports, news, they're still an empire in decline. And they've become a company that is totally alien to what uh, Walt Disney started. And I've said before that Walt Disney is probably spinning like a fidget spinner in his grave right now, you know, after his uh, company has become totally alien to what he, to how he started it. But it says in the article, on its own, Disney Plus couldn't compete with the streaming giant Netflix. Even to this day, when comparing just those two, Disney Plus still falls short in subscriptions and viewership in many areas. With the added boost of Hulu and ESPN, however, the entire Disney bundle pushed a number of subscribers just pushed a number of subscribers just beyond Netflix. This was a considerable achievement, considering how long Netflix has been in the game compared to the Disney bundle, which has only been available for around one year. Yeah. Well. That sure didn't last long. <laughs> hey, you go woke, you go broke. And people think, what does it have to do with wokeness? I mean, seriously, you notice the, the correlation of when they insert all this liberal SJW, socially left-wing propaganda ideology into their, their kids' films. Um, you see, you notice the correlation between when, once they do that more and more and more, well, they start losing lots and lots of money. So, you know, they're so obsessed with pushing all this stuff, but they don't realize, you know, at what price. And I don't mean that metaphorically. I mean, like, literally, what price in terms of money? But also metaphorically, too, because they're losing fans as well. But it says here in the article, The rumors made sense. Therefore, the former Disney CEO Bob Chapek, or as I call him, Bob Paycheck, uh, made plans to purchase the remaining shares of Hulu, Hulu Live TV, to own the service outright, along with the... Sorry, that along with the purchase of 20, 21st Century Fox, a major provider of TV shows and content for Hulu, uh, made for a compelling case. Why wouldn't Disney want to own Hulu outright? They would maintain their streaming numbers and have more content with and with more people paying for ad-free Disney Plus. They wouldn't want to charge the average, average Disney subscriber for more for less, would they? You know, well, that's the question, would they? Well, let's see the answer to that, which, you know, is a very, again, adds to the testament of them being an empire in decline. Uh, in another interview today, CEO of Walt Disney Company, Bob Iger, was asked about these those very rumors that Disney was planning to purchase the remainder of Hulu. Journalist Scott Gustin shared Iger's response in which he said, I'm not saying that's necessarily the case. Gustin also retweeted another comment from Iger in which the CEO was open to selling Hulu outright. Everything is on the table. Yeah. But after all this, you know, after all this, you know, no matter what they do, they're still going to be an empire in decline. They can cut all the employees they want, they're going to cut all the jobs, you know, they can raise prices, which is, you know, only just adds to the problem. But, you know, it all comes down to one thing. When you get away from entertaining kids and, you know, get more dedicated to pushing liberal, social liberal, SJW, woke, you know, propaganda and ideology and brainwashing, uh, you forget to realize, you know, they, they never pondered, pandered essentially at what price, you know, both figuratively and literally. So, it's another testament to the fact that Sally the Mouse is approaching his final hours. Or, or should I say the cartoon rodent, really, when you get down to it. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.